Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Fresh Baked Disney, the best of Disney Bake Fresh Daily. I am your host, David, and we are walking through the portal of happiness. What? What? What's going to happen right now? What's going to happen? What's happening? Magic? <sighs> yes. It's so just happened. We've entered. We did it. We're in. We need to get you a button. Everything has changed. I don't want to do it here, though. No, I know. It's okay. uh, good morning, guys. Welcome back. We've arrived at the happiest place on Earth, and we are very happy to be in this place. It's uh, got Liz today. Hi. Good morning, Liz. Morning. He is on, Ian is on his way. He's parking currently. Oh, yes? I think so. Okay. Oh, Sarah's still on vacation. So, light group today. Uh, and it's my birthday weekend. Woo! Birthday weekend! We celebrate the weekend before, right? Weekend before. Yeah, so, uh, my birthday. I think, I think that's more special. Yeah, alright. Yeah. It's my birthday on Tuesday. Woo! Birthday boy! I'm getting so old. Hey, I, I wanted to. What do you want to do? It's your there, birthday. What do you I want do? a vehicle. But okay. I, don't want the, I don't want that. That's the only one that's here right now. Is okay. the horse drawn streetcar. Oh, look at oh. Are there any? Let me, let's walk up here a little bit. Ba, da, 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 da. I noticed that there's a lot of people in costume. A lot of folks wanting to get their pictures taken with the pumpkin. But I feel like Halloween is over. No, stop! That's how I feel. I know! This happens oh, every single year. Every year. Every year. We're like, I am done with Halloween now. And we're gonna show you some Christmas today. No. Liz, aren't you excited about that? Like I like a little bit of me like, yes! But big part of me is like, no! Yeah, there's uh, there's some Christmas to see. It's always the, the merch that comes out first. The merch is the first sign of Christmas, and if you've seen the World of Disney store is open, and they have a whole the and whole middle section is all Christmas. Of it? It's amazing. It looks great. I'm, I really have to say it looks I'm great. I've new World of Disney. Yeah. Uh, I know some folks don't like the new World of Disney. We're, well, I don't want to get into that right now because uh, we're walking down Main Street. We're going to do this for now and then we'll do that for later. That's how it works, right? Yes. Ba -da 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 -da. I don't see any vehicles. I hear screaming children. I do hear that. That screaming child is dressed like Woody. Happy birthday. Howdy, howdy, howdy. So we're going to be starting our morning off. Hey, should we wait for Ian to ride Finding Nemo today? Do you think we should? He needs to suffer. I know how much Ian loves Finding Nemo. You're really torturing us today on your birthday. You're really sucks. And well, we're going to do Star Tours also. <laughs> on my, you know, I think I wrote Star Tours on my birthday last year also. Fantastic. And we can eat wherever you want today. We can do whatever you want. Uh, I'm not going to say anything. Yeah, she's telling me, hey, Dave, we'll do whatever you want on your birthday. And I'm like, we do that every weekend. Like, yeah, but we sometimes like encourage you, like, oh, but we should do this. And sometimes you take it, sometimes you don't. But today, it's like all David. What we say doesn't mean. Oh my God. Why? Squash. However, comma, should we go check out the Is there any Halloween, Halloween donuts? We should, yes. Let's go look and see if there are any Halloween donuts. Okay, that's the only one. <laughs> that dude just dropped his. Yeah, I'm cool down now. I think hot coffee was a bad choice this morning, but I couldn't help myself. Milk was a bad choice. Milk no, was <laughs> Where are you? I'm in the glass case of a mouth. They're gonna put corn in soda. They're gonna put corn in soda. I don't know about your cars right now. There are no vehicles out, just the streetcar. The haunted mansion. See, look, they, oh my god, it's so bright. They and the have, mummy. It's a green thing. It's a rest in peace donut. 
It's the well, he's celebrating the Haunted Mansion. He's celebrating the mummy. It's very mummy like. This looks deadly. He's celebrating the chocolate chip vampire. <laughs> and that's worms and dirt. I think the worms and dirt or the haunted mansion is like, yeah, I'm digging. Should we get one? Will you help me eat one? Will I help you eat one? Well, there you go, guys. We opted for the haunted mansion. It's a donut, right? That's an actual yes. donut. Is it filled? It looks like a. It looks it like a, a, a either a jelly or a cream filled. And somebody died. Oh, that's what it's filled with. It's what? It's filled with somebody's rotting carcass. There's a dead body inside of it. Oh. Because that there's a tombstone on there. Ooh, that sounds Plus delicious. Plus drizzle and that crummy dirt stuff. Yeah. So that looks fun. You want to take a bite? I'm going to take out the tombstone just to make life easier. Oh, oh my, wow. It's heavy. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I think there's a body in there. It's a tiny little body. <laughs> is it all over my face? Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Look, it's right over there. Let me, let me get the camera up close. Come on, let me do it. Is that creamy? Did you get to the creamy filling? Mm -hmm. the, That's actually a really good donut. The dead body filling? Mm -hmm. Already had breakfast too, but just had breakfast. Well, I didn't have breakfast. I only had you coffee. Gotta, uh, Help me. Yeah, it's all over you. You'll get oh my god. Help me. Help me. Please hold fresh bake. Is it gone? Help me. It's on your eye. Oh, it's on my eye? <laughs> under, your, under your glasses and stuff. Well, because you made me laugh. Okay. I'll fix it. Let's see if I, let's oh, see there, what There's a fire truck. Oh, look, there it is. Okay. Oh, you did not get it over your face, Lucky. It's good, right? No filling uh -huh. in the middle, though. No, but it's that top part that's yummy. Yummy. I like it. How much was this? Six dollars, seven dollars. It's a six dollar donut. It's it's good though. I think it's one of the better donuts at that place. It doesn't taste dry. There's a lot of that. Yeah. That goes all the way down. Oh now it's all over your face. I feel better. <laughs> I can't. I can't place the flavor of the uh, the creamy frosting thing. Do you, do you? Can you place it? Is it just cream cheese? It's not cream cheese. It's too sweet for that, right? Buttercream. Butter, you're, buttercream. You're buttercream. buttercream. I'm buttercream. There's no. You know what? It, there's two of us, and I don't think we're gonna finish this donut. No. Right. That that filling is Super so rich. sweet. Very sweet. I actually very just like filling, the donut itself. Rich. The donut's a little dry. Mm -mm. No, you don't think so. I've had drier. Let's talk about the dryness of our donut while you sip your 1% milk like a toddler. What about this duck right here? Are you gonna say happy birthday? Say happy birthday. It's my birthday duck. Say happy birthday, Jamie. It's a hub duck. We're at the hub still. We just finished our donut. We didn't even finish it really though, did we? No, we finished it. No, we all that. Finished all the, 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 filling, frosting, the frosting filling, yeah. But, but it's weird that two that. people can't finish a single donut. Um, do thick. Donuts are really Let's talk sweet. about this for a minute. Donuts yeah. really are sweet. I know. And I love them. And all that I dead body that. custard or That's frosting. That's what it was. Yeah. Hey, we should get a button. Let's go, Let's go get my birthday button. Bye, duck. Oh, here he comes again. Wait, she. He? Yes, she. She. Here she comes. The prettier ones are the males in the animal kingdom. And the ugly ones are the female. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you're not ugly. You're beautiful. She's pretty. You're pretty. You're you're okay. Where's her where, where's her flock? Her flock? Yeah, what do they call those? What's a group of ducks? Uh, uh, a herd? Uh, uh, I don't A gaggle? I don't know. A plethora? Maybe. Um I think it's a flock. Or a herd. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're gonna get us. We're gonna get me a birthday button. Joni just texted me. Hey, boy, how are you doing? All right. Um, 
So here we go, guys. My birthday Love button. It. Just my birthday button. Heads up behind you, baby. It's okay. I got this. Everybody's I got just this. Clear path. I got this. Boy. Clear I got path. This. I got this. <laughs> I totally got this. Do I look handsome at my button? You look adorable, baby. Hey, that, that's not Daniela. No, it's not. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, anyway, happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to you. 49. Last 40th birthday. <laughs> I'm a young man. You are still a young man. You're my young man. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pass over to you. All right. This is too short. <laughs> You can tell, fresh bake, we've made our way up to the Disneyland Railroad train station on Main Street to hang out and show you this magical view and say hi to all those muffins right there. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> and look at Donald. Look at him. He's strutting around in his pumpkin costume. <sighs> wow. This is one of my favorite places to be. Me too. Last week I said that I believe that uh, one of my most favorite things and all of Disneyland is, is either being on the train while the Mark Twain passes you, or vice versa, being on the Mark Twain while a train goes by. This is up there also, just being right here uh, at the DLLR, uh, hanging out at the station, watching, because you know what it is? Town Square in this entrance right here, the sun is. Yeah. Let me, uh, let me switch. Appreciate it. <laughs> uh, the, uh, Good morning. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> uh, you know, being right here, the, this entrance on both sides, town square, the vehicles, it's like your peak happiness. And then making that walk down Main Street. Yeah. You're at your very, very happiest at this moment when you walk in. So it's that, true. The it's energy really, right really, in here is yeah, so amazing. good. It's so good. There's, there's happiness. No, there's no rage going on right now. And it's until it's maybe wonderful. Eh, like at the hub. That's the one right. Well, I mean, once you start, yeah, then you, then you could be at any point in your day. But like, okay, now we gotta. At this point in the morning. At this point in the park, everybody's day is just getting started right now. Yeah. All these people, their day is just getting started. It's just my favorite. Me too. Plus, look at all this stuff that's happening. You've got the vehicles, which are just so very Disney. You've got this, you've got the straw hatters, just sort of adding that, uh, it's just like, you know, just a little extra flavor, you know? And they want to, oh my gosh. How, do, how would you? They were like they took out the the hook and ladder company. Like, I know. I hope they don't keep doing that. You know. I hope they don't lose the straw hatters or the dapper dans or dapper dance. Well, no way. Well, is it for sure right? that they're gone forever? Or maybe well, the hook and ladder company for is. Sure yeah, forever. yeah, that's done. I mean, maybe they bring in something new. I don't know. But what would this place be like without the straw hatters right now? How would? If how would? Not, we would just hear noise. Right. Yeah. Mm. It's just the best. You hear that? Oh, sun. Sun. Yeah, tons of sun. My goodness. Okay, I can't look at that. Well, uh, right now, I, I don't. I feel like I feel like a superhero has picked up the earth and thrown it at the sun. We're flying through space right now, about ready to burn. It's that's how bright it is right now. Right after the right after the uh, the rains hit on Saturday, Santa Ana winds came through on on Monday. Was it Monday? Yeah. I think it was Monday. The Santa Ana winds came through on Monday. It blew out all that cold weather, all those clouds. They blew it blows out everything, and you get nothing but crystal blue skies. But that's a, is that a real color? Oh, go get it. Um, so it's just a totally clear day and it's very hot. It's gonna be 90, yeah. 85, 90 today. 
probably gonna give it maybe five more minutes with this flannel and then I'll be done. <laughs> You're wearing a flannel. I know! I wanted to wear it though. Flannel was a bad choice. It really was. But <laughs> I wanted to like you. Yeah. Uh, Go get it. That's my favorite guy. It's that guy. The drummer? The drummer guy, yeah. He's my favorite straw hatter. There's my new great friend. Great friend! My new great friend. <laughs> Congratulations, great friend. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> I need to send you one back, great friend. Good morning, Ian. Welcome. Good morning. Took you, you got a little late start this morning? A little later, sir. Thanks, Ian. All right. Did you happen to walk by the uh, world of Disney and see how beautiful it looks inside? I, they draw me off on the other side. Oh, bummer. Hey, I got a great idea. Let's get our picture taken with a pumpkin. If that's how you want to spend at least an hour. <laughs> you're, you're joking, right? I am 100% joking. <laughs> it's already feeling a little bit busy yeah. right now and hot. Yep. This is our se second time walking down Main Street already. Well, that's you could do worse than walk down Main Street twice. Huh? I said you could do worse than walk down Main Street twice. Yeah, totally. You could walk down only once. <laughs> Where you have to eat the cars. That means you went in and didn't leave. So we're going to Tomorrowland today, Ian. Ah, what for? Oh, I don't want to ruin the surprise. There's not really a surprise there. There's nothing to surprise me in Tomorrowland. But, but what we're going to do, it could be a real surprise. I want you to be excited about it. I mean, there's two rides there that I like that you guys don't care for as much because they make you <laughs> sick. So it's either one of those or it's Nemo. <laughs> What's the other one that makes you sick? Space Mountain. I, I like Space I Mountain. Space Mountain. Oh, I thought you guys. Oh, cool. no! I, I just can't do it like twice in a row or anything. Well, anyways, Star Tours and Space no, Mountain. Star Tours can go. <laughs> so, Star Tours can go in a well. I don't think you guys are great friends anymore. Well, because I don't like Star Tours. Yes, I love Star Tours. No, you don't. Whatever. Don't, 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 yeah. don't throw her under the bus unless you're not going to get out with her. Fire. 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 It's my favorite. Let's go this way, yes. Astro Orbiter also does not sit well with my tummy. Mm, that's the Especially when I'm filming and I try to turn around and or do things that are incongruent with that kind of motion. Well, to figure you're not supposed to turn around. I, well, to face forward. <laughs> hey, at least my hands and arms are inside the vehicle. Or feet, legs, arms, and hands, and head. Well, sometimes my head leaves the vehicle. But uh, there's a skeleton and a cow. They must eat themselves. <laughs> I know, right? Because it's so hot. It'll be so sweaty in those things. Fresh break, we took a break, and while we were chatting, I accidentally ruined the surprise for Ian. Ian, we're going to Finding Nemo. Again, I guessed it back there, and you laughed, so I kind of figured that's what it was. <laughs> but Ian, happy Nemo Day. That's not a thing. <laughs> it's a thing today. <laughs> it's such a thing today. We're going to have so much fun looking for Nemo. I think I know where he is. I have a clue. I have a guess. Is he in a volcano or in the water? Do we need You can ruin it for Liz. For I don't know. I'm asking. I'm asking. <laughs> I didn't say he is. I'm asking. 
He could be. He could be in a volcano. He also could be in a wrecked submarine. Or and in a submarine being chased by a, a shark. Yes. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, we'll get fast passes also. Ian, did you know it's my birthday weekend? Yes, I I knew. Yeah. <laughs> I, yep, uh huh, definitely. We are no longer great friends, Ian. <laughs> Man, that's two goals. Well, well I still got Sarah, Trisha, and Elise. Still got three friends. Yay, I'm a friend. No, you ruined it because you don't like Star Tours. Oh, but that, that's not fair. That is totally fair. Uh, yes. Yes! <laughs> Yeah, yours is right after mine, that's right. Oh! Yeah, but it's not real. Man, that, that felt good. I knew Ian's birthday. What's mine, Ian? March 21st, because oh. he said 321. 321, yeah. that's right. Okay. Honey, did you catch that? Do you remember? What, you your birthday? Yeah. The I mnemonic? Yeah, I'm the one who gave him the mnemonic. Yeah, 321, so I told yeah. you guys yeah. that's Meaning, I remembered it because he does. That's right. So, credit goes to him. He didn't remember it because he's so fond of you. He remembered it. Okay, you know, you're not making, <laughs> that's not helping. <laughs> They're no longer great friends. I'm having so much fun figuring out what kind of friends we are. <laughs> yeah, let's go get on a spooky sub and get uncomfortable and awkward. No. No, it's open. It's open. What, you guys still think I have eyeballs? There's no one in the queue. There's just no one in the queue. <laughs> the well, that's why we're going now, so that we. It's early, isn't yeah. This is the time to ride Nemo. It's now. Now is the time. Da, da, da. Now, fresh baked. I know that you guys often don't like to watch the ride through, so don't stress out. I'm not going to show you the whole entire thing. I'm just going to give you a couple of highlights. We're going to see the whole thing because I'm cruel. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I don't hate this ride. I no, just I, think it's stronger without the Nemo stuff. I agree. Uh, if this weren't a Nemo ride, if this were a regular sub ride, I'd be all over it. Because look at this is wonderful. All oh, this is wonderful. The sub itself is wonderful. Just, and see, the sets underwater are cool. Yeah. Like, I get people, right here, yeah. And I get why people don't like, I get it's a slow capacity ride. I get why people don't like being inside this stuff. Yep. That's fair. The actual experience is cool. It's just all the projections kind of actually take away. They don't add and enhance, they yeah. take away from what's happening right now. I, you know, again, it seems like we have this conversation every time we come to this building, yeah. be that the monorail or Finding Nemo, but I feel like there's two, an undue amount of importance placed on Synergy. And I, I don't know how they got to the point where they value it so much. Why do they value that so much? Because it's a way of having more guaranteed because most common denominator likes brand recognition. But what are the busiest attractions? In all reality, yeah, they're they're right? they're the ones that well quality first and foremost. Space, Haunted Mansion, Pirates, right? Those are the busiest attractions. Do those, those push as much merch? Well, they could if you sold the merch I, that was based I, on I, those I attractions. I, I'm, I'm speaking from the point. I know, I know. I just, it's TVA backwards thinking, in my opinion. Speaking from their perspective. Yeah, it's backwards thinking instead of forward thinking, in my opinion.
conditions allow our voyage may be unpredictable. Please remain seated at all times. All right. Well, where are we going to go? Stand by to dive. soundtrack well i should say like the background audio was there no. but not the dialogue yeah and uh i have to say i enjoyed that did they change the soundtrack it's not working yeah there's no audio some music and I would have preferred that. Yeah, yeah. I was like, is it always that silent? No, it no, wasn't. No, there was dialogue know. missing, and that's and it felt kind of creepy, like yeah, a little I'd, scary. I'd also like to revise my primary complaint with the show of the ride. Uh huh. Only slightly more than projections no, is the fact that you have these long treasures of just darkness. Yeah. And you can barely see anything. Yeah. I'm like, you're underwater. There's rock work. You should be able to see all that. Yeah. There's cool, and but you can't. It's just dark. Yeah. That's actually now my my primary complaint. In terms and, of and, and mine and mine would be all the jibber jabber, like. Yeah. I liked the I liked the sort of acoustic trip through the water, you know, without the talking, without all the shark ooh ha ha. It just had a little music to go with. Yeah. It's really, really solid. With the occasional, with the occasional commentary from, from by the, the way from the captain from a captain yes not from Nemo or Dory yeah. because I don't speak fish. Yeah. Even and though they all, say, and they're also just replaying audio from the yeah, movie. Sure yeah. Anyways, I don't, I don't know if any of that is new audio except for the sharks. The sharks uh, yeah, ones, no, I you're right. I think Nemo, it. I think. Dory and Marlin might all be audio from. Yeah. The, uh, they could be new lines, but they sound just like mine sort of film. So. But as an attraction, that is a fun attraction. I think. Yeah. Once you get, as soon as, assuming you're not. Uh, it's a good ride. Super, concept. you know, what do you call it? Afraid of, you know, claustrophobic yeah. or whatever. The ride concept is good. The ride concept is good. The efficiency isn't. Uh, but the other thing there, as far as Disney's concerned, is that it is very difficult to keep that ride. Oh, but fresh. At the, well, also at the end, I could some of that coral was in rough shape. And right, and they and it's very expensive, and there's a lot of. That's one of those issues where uh, current regulations require them to be painted in such a way as it makes it difficult to do yeah. that. Tokyo has a and Tokyo Disney Sea has a twenty thousand meter sea ride, but they got around by doing a double pane window with water in it. Ah, uh, yeah. So that they don't have to deal with actual water in the right. ride. Twenty-five, thirty-five, really. 35 for Astro Blasters. Did you get Star Tours? Yeah, for 10.45. 10.25, what time is it now? 10.45. But right now it's about like 9.40ish. Okay, well we can get on Astro Orbiter then. All right. We were gonna get on the monorail, but it's closed right now. Are we having a moment or separate? A moment? What do yeah. you mean? Yeah, you wanna share one or you want your own? What are we 
talking about? Ash and Oh. You want to share? Oh. You want to wax it? Then I'll push you. Gosh, I, how could I ride without you? Oh, okay. <laughs> Ta -da -da. Thank you very much. Although, I, you know, it's been a while since Ian and I shared up. Oh my god, can you? <laughs> oh He's my god, please. He's not even please? with it. <laughs> I'll Astro Orbiter, guys. How about this? Look, there's my wife. Do you think the Matterhorn is, <laughs> is, is for couples? Wait, where are you? Huh? There she is. <laughs> She's hiding I... behind me. Hi, baby. It happens with the The Astro Orbiter is for couples only, let me just say. <gasps> We're quite familiar. Blast off, he says. Oh, the field. Oh, God, there they are. Hey, it's Ivan. Oh. Wow. There they go. Oh, God, now I just got sick. Ian, are you napping? Do that. Oh, how, how is your stomach not upside down right now? Or sideways? Wow. I'm so dirty. He's just so nonchalant about these things. That's how he can handle star tours. I'm going down. I'm going down. I'm trying. There we go. Whoa! Ian is so high! <laughs> the Astro Arbiter is now beginning its descent. Please remain seated until your rocket ship stops and follow the arrows to the flight. You got it! Welcome back! Pilot. Okay, what is the best way to overcome slight nausea as a result of going on the Astro Orbiter? Definitely not go on Star Tours. Go on Star Tours. That's not how you solve it. We're, we're doing it anyway. <laughs> we're not fine. Wow. And then after this, we'll go on Space Mountain. How about that? See, I'd be fine. I know. Bye. Well, that's because robots don't get nausea. Depends. I mean, depends how, you know, high grade that, that android is. Or unless you're something like the guy from Futurama. What's his name? Bender. Bender, yeah. Bender barfs all the time. True, because he can get, he's a robot who can somehow get drunk. Yeah. So, you know. I'm still adjusting to have to getting this, the fast pass line over here. Still adjusting to this. Hey, how are you? Is getting better?
wanted Pee Wee Herman. Something you don't see exactly. Actually, I, I meant do. to do that as a Pee Wee Herman line for Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Oh, well, I mean, that was also a line in Star Trek. That's weird. It, 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 yeah, that was why, because that, I believe that's, in Star Trek, with Bridge of Star Trek, is when you actually you'll crash your way through the space. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I meant to do that. No shortcut. That's, I never, I never put that together. I didn't, I didn't know it was, but I did. Yeah. Uh, he's riding around on his bike, and he, he crashes the bike, falls over, yeah. gets on his feet, stands up, and says, I meant to do that. We're sideways. I Factory figures. Yeah. On Sandcrawler. Wow, that's cool. Where can you possibly display this, though? Nowhere in our Like, house. that requires a very dedicated okay. piece of shelf. You couldn't hear it, but there are buttons that make sound happen. Yeah? Is it Java sounds? That's what sound like. Or is it Ben saying, Luke, no? no I'm pretty sure they spent a few while the Jawas are still alive. Oh, oh that's true. Why was, oh. why was Sam people want smarter Jawas? Was they. <laughs> Only Imperial Troopers in the <laughs> <laughs> Ironic that he says only Troopers are that precise except when they shoot literally nothing throughout the entire movie. <laughs> except the only time that that really happens is when they're supposed to get away. Right, right. Like, Very the convenient. first time you see... St except, I'm saying Stormtroopers get a bad rap. So the first time you see them in the movie, they're deadly. Yeah. They wipe out everyone on the ship. That's true. 
they that's true. They yeah, shop on, yeah. On, on Hoth. Yeah, and they take over Bestman. Like, yeah. but they can't shoot Han in that hallway. He's like, they're also supposed to let them get away. Thirty of them. They're also remember, remember, like, I, I think, uh, was it Tarkin says? Oh, Tarkin and Vader. I forget the exact plan. Line. I hope your plan works. Or yeah, you're like taking that. an awful yeah. risk, Vader. Yeah. Like, I mean, the, the plan was to install a tracker and let them get away. All right, there you go. Fresh break. It's done. Stormtroopers are good shots. Yeah. That's it. At that's least just by the original. And they're also quite tall. If you watch Rebels, well, that's a different story. <laughs> but yeah, sand crawl. There you go. Oh, it opens up in the back. Yep. The right. elevator thing. There's the yeah. uh, furnace lights. How much? Cool. Is this? I'm gonna guess eighty dollars. Ninety nine. Ninety nine. Right. Is it heavy? It is. It is fairly heavy. Yeah. I would lift it for you, fresh baked, but I mean, you, you still wouldn't get like one end to get a sense of weight. Yeah. Yeah. This isn't the same as like those regular, you know, when they put up for all the new movies, right? It's, it's the, the same, same. It's the same kind, yeah, but instead of a deluxe right figurine set, it's a mega figurine set. Because there's a lot more now, stuff. Now, is mega better than deluxe? I mean, that's what marketing is always about, me to believe. Mega. Yeah. There, there's it's a lot. It's mega because it's a lot. Yeah. You get everybody. It My it goodness. Is Ian, how long, how, how long, how quickly could you name all those figures? Uh, so 45. I mean, there's not really any thing that's particularly difficult here. Here, pick someone. Well, okay. Because like uh, everything, here, everyone there is pretty easy. There's nothing too obscure there. You're right. There's the no most obscure, obscure thing here is like Greedo. Or maybe uh. Wicket. No, no. Um, oh, Grievous. So Grievous I General would, Grievous. Sorry, point old Warwick Davis there. Oh, yeah, Wicket. Well, yeah, it, it, it's kind of hard to tell the, but he's got a certain coloring. Yeah. Wicket does. Okay, what's that Jawless name? Well, the job. The job was never given one. I think he has one. Debatable. I think it's Jim. He's definitely not that. Jim Jawa. No, definitely not. No, it's not Jim Jawa. Arguably made that one of those, the, from a certain point of view, short stories might be that Jawa, but. Jerry. No, again. I think it's a J. Those aren't really Star Wars yeah. names. J Jerry Jawa. Jimberly Jawa. No, that, that's a one of the Alright. Let's go on the other side. This is newish, isn't it? It's Han Solo, just, young Han Solo. I think this backpack. probably. Yes, he has a, his own backpack. This is his backpack uh -huh. with all these things printed on. Yeah. yeah. He has a backpack. This is truly. He wore it. It's, that, this is sure. this is screen worn backpack. That's one of your things. They're trying to steal my bit. Except so, this yeah. is as good as my bag. That's Ian's bag. Except yeah, I think yours that's, is better. Yeah, that's not Ian's different. Dudes, beanie. I guess it has to be right. I mean, anyone would wear a beanie. Right, but do dudes wear pom poms on top of their beanies? Mm -hmm. They do. Yeah, why not? I think you would rock that quite well. There's very little that I can't rock, honey. Cool you know mug, that. Though. I could rock that mug. You know what I can't rock, though? We have more room in our cabinets now that we can I have can't more rock mugs. these. You, I haven't seen, well, I don't think I've, I've been with you for two years. I don't think I've ever seen you in a tank top. I don't quite have the bod for that. It's totally, I think that's, that's I that girls or guys. I don't know, but dudes wear these. I don't yeah. know that attitude. <laughs> Okay, well, honey, first of all, not a small. Yeah, this is, I, this could be dudes. They only have extra extra large or large. Oh, okay. God. Oh, dear. Oh, God. It's going to tail all over again. There we go. Yeah, that's, a, that's dudes. I think you would rock it. No, I can't. Why? Because I have a dad bod. I don't have a tank top bod. That's okay. I don't have a tank top bob. bod. Do you think before Galaxy's Edge opens, they'll, they'll pre-sell Galaxy's Edge merch here? Like they'd have that one shirt. I mean, not stuff that you would find in the land. Not right away. That reminds me, we have sort of confirmation that a Galaxy's Edge preview is coming to Blue Sky. Oh, it's yes, in rumor that there'll be a preview center in the Blue Sky cellar. Yeah, that sounds like a pretty solid Rumor yep. also, yeah. With you know fake post-it notes from Imagineers. Right. That, yeah, yeah, stuff. yeah. And a video about how how much Star Wars means to the, all the Imagineers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very clever. Look more ducks. <laughs> You're so happy. Hey, that duck is drifting. I'm so happy they have their water back. That duck was drifting, Ian. You know, I'm sure there's a point we need to get to see the Mark Twain drift. 
It was pretty close. Oh, that was yeah. fast. I was so proud and of that. You know, if, you, uh, <laughs> if you watch the Mark Twain from the I'm parking structure, mm -hmm. the so, as it makes its turn around the Native American village, it looks like it's going backwards. Because it turns right. Dark with the perspective. Mm -hmm. It's really weird. Optical illusion. I, I filmed it once, and then somebody made a comment the other day, and they said the same thing. I'm like, I know it's cool. It's like, it's a weird illusion. All right. They're so cute. They are so cute. Well, they're like 80 cute. I don't know how so cute oh, they are. They're so cute. I'm just gonna enjoy the water and give myself a bath. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna put wow. my feathers. I'm a happy dog. Are they? Are, is that what they're doing? Why do they shake like that? Yeah, they're, they're bathing. They're they? cleaning. Mm -hmm. Seems like it. Dirty ducks. All right, let's go. Well, guys, we made our way back to Main Street. What she said.
Is it because of the heat? I think it's been that short for a bit now. Yeah? Yeah. Where they just do the one Brother Bear song that they use in the 60s. Right. That no one knows is from Brother Bear, but it's from Brother Bear. You know, I want to start paying attention now. I want to find things that are more than they used to be. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. Show me something that is more than it used to be, Disney. Give me, just do something. Anything. Hey, actually, you know what is more than what it used to be? Not World Cup, Disney. World of Disney is more than it used also, to be. Also, well, yeah, why is there just a minivan parks here? I mean, I love it, though. Like, just in case you didn't know, you know you're already here. Oh, I'm Do you think it's one of those, like, they have a problem? Are they going to give it away? Are they going to give us give away a Halloween car? A Halloween minivan? But you really can't remove the decals. You have to just drive around forever so that you always are a living yes. advertisement for yes. Halloween time. <laughs> Uh, Ian, I have to say, we, we stuck a peek at Liz and I uh, on our way in today. I, I saw photos and Twitter videos yesterday, so... I really like it, Ian. I really like it. <laughs> I think Maybe it's because nice it has boring. Christmas decorations okay, I in there. it looks nice but boring. That's right, that, that's okay. I, I like the sign. I do. Um, you guys in World of Disney? Yes, we're going to World of Disney. I'm going to sunglass hat, so... Alright, so wait, I have to get all of my sparkling commentary from Ian? Yeah, I'm sorry Dear God. It. I love it. I'm, I'm, I'm you need to apologize to Fresh Baked, Liz. I'm sorry, Fresh Baked. <laughs> like, keep falling off my face. I'm just kidding. <laughs> they love our Ian and Dave chats. By the way, you and I are featured Saturday and Sunday, and today is just you and I talking about on Fresh Baked Today. Okay. You and I talking about rides breaking down over at Flows. Oh, okay. Cool. I don't know what you got. Those are doing really well, the David and Ian chats. All right, so this is something we kind of snuck a peek at this one. Uh, what was it last week, two weeks ago? We got because they were yeah. they we shipped the siding over to the rescue. Uh, so I mean, it, technically the official grand reopening is next Friday. Oh, is that right? But it, it's done. This, yeah. this is it. It's it looks different than the other the, what the, the first third this that they opened earlier. This looks even more different than that. Hang on, let's navigate. <laughs> Is that, I like that. I like I guess that a lot. It, it, everything it is nice but boring. That's kind of just my opinion. I, I like boring. I do. I saw the What's that? The Tiki Room shirt. There was a... There was a slightly button-up shirt. I was hoping it was like a polo because I uh, wear a lot of polos at work. Oh, do you? Yeah, because polos are comfy but still professional. Yeah. That's great. I do appreciate it's a Tiki Room shirt though. I can wear that at work. Yeah, because you work at home. <laughs> I like the, the center arrangement here. The theme is that we're in some kind of artist warehouse or something. Oh no, let me do the oh, a, I'm repurposed, sorry, motif. A, re, a repurposed bus depot turned annex animation studio turned shop. Okay, there you go. That, I don't know. It's, no, no, it's, it's just so turn, convoluted. It, they didn't turn it into a shop. We are in an animation studio. No, because the idea is that they were here, then they moved up to Burbank. Oh, so now, they, okay. They were here, oh, then they I left all this stuff behind. The day, and then they moved up to Burbank. They left behind these wooden boxes and this artwork of them drawing Mickey. They leave that behind. And those pants. They leave behind the pants. Are those artist pants? Is that Lord, Lord Kimball's pants? This is a world, yeah. Those should be the archives. Dude. It belongs in a museum. Studio worn. <laughs> by your favorite artists. <laughs> the Jimmy Wallow shirts. Yeah, this is a new thing you see like at Walmart and Target these days where they put up the, the shirt. I get why they do it so yeah. you get more easy to see all the designs. Yeah, I yeah. don't think it just sort of looks good. Well, but not only that, they don't have to rummage through the shirts yeah. to look at it. You don't have to take the plate thing apart. Lie. Oh, that Gaston. He is an extrovert. There's a lot of shirts here, Ian. My other ride is a monorail. I like that. There's the retro Space Mountain shirt that you can get at Space Mountain. This is something that they didn't have in the in the early pre-opening section, yeah, we right? Not at least not turned on. I kind of I like that. I really do like that, Ian. It's not in your face, but it's there in the back, kind of giving a little a little flavor. The little projection touches are nice. Yeah. And I do like what they, we saw this before when we stuck in here, this little, you know, uh, the, the, with the churros and the uh, Dole Whips, that kind of thing. 
Oh, look, there's projections on the floor, too. That's cute. They got a hey, hey. It's really busy. How does that look on a shirt? Well, there you go. Yeah, you got one? I'm not going to unfold it just for the sake of people matter. Yeah, that's... I can barely see what's happening there. I think it looks nice enough. Yeah. Is that a rose gold purse again? Or a backpack, yeah. I like this. I like the small world one. I very much like that. If I were a girl, I might also buy one. Oh, they left behind their drawing of Minnie Mouse also. Still expensive. I don't know if you saw those little posters that move oh. every now and then. Let's and go see know. that. Some of them move. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, you haven't seen the, the attraction spirit jerseys? Whoa. These are the new spirit jerseys. It's a tiki room one, there's a pirate's one. Uh, but there's also a small world and a haunted mansion. You are really sticking out with that one, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Here's the pirates one, which is, this is more like a sweater almost, right? It feels like it's sweatshirt thickness. Uh, I've always felt that. The, well, this one is no. These are not how thick they all is are. Is it really? Yeah, they're all they're all. I, I think these are kind of thin, personally. Really? I yeah, I find these to be a little thin. All right. Uh, so what he was talking about are these posters back here. These are projected, I guess, right? Oh look, there's more artwork. It's like we're in Blue Sky Cellar, Ian. I like that stuff. There you go. Oh, wait, did it move? I missed it. Well, now it was Snow White. Now it's Fantasia. Now it's Fantasia. Oh, and that was, it was a silly symphony. That was a silly symphony. We should hang out and see what happens. Oh, there go oh, Dumbo's flying in that one. It's not only do they change, but it's animated. Yeah, that's fantastic. Oh, and the Casey Jr. just went by. Oh, my God. <laughs> This one's not doing anything. I got a oh, Casey's tired. That's great. Man, it is super duper crowded in here too. Uh, Ian, do you see what we're approaching? Uh, yeah. Halloween who? Halloween is over, Fresh Bay. Halloween is over. This is our first look at Christmas at the this year. For Things always start with the Christmas stuff, or the, hot, wait, the, the the seasons start with the merchandise, I should say. And uh, if you'll recall, is that the one I have? Uh, I got a train last Christmas. It might be that. That is the one I have, I think. No, it's not. Mine's different, but that one's fantastic. I love it. Okay, so here you go. Very festive. By the way, it's 90 degrees out. <laughs> Happy holidays. I like this. What do you think? Section. Well, I, I walked by twice. Oh, yeah? And I didn't see it until right now. Oh, okay. What do you think? Um, I wish it wasn't just here, but yeah. loving it. Well, what about Hanukkah? Well, it's a good now. Some of the stuff doesn't look very new, actually. No. A lot of duplications of holiday stuff. Don't, I don't see the pajamas I have so but I got those right here. Stockings, ornaments, lots of ornaments always, but these are here year round. That's cute, yeah, those are cute. Oh, look, we're gonna have.
have to get one of those pillows okay, probably. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. I feel like the holiday cheer pillow was here last year. All right, where are we at? I like how everything is so magical. That's been around. Are these new? Is this a new design? These are new designs for sure. Yeah, that I don't recognize. That's very, uh, what do you call it? Cabiny. Cabiny, yeah, you're right. Yeah. There's some more stockings, which I believe I remember these from last year also. Yep. And then the fact that randomly had boxes on one. That's great though. It is. Except with the weird part, they also sell this in Florida. They sell a bunch of hatbox merch in Florida, even though he has never been part of that their That's version. Funny. I think I'm always like, why? Well, we get the Orange we Bird. get the uh, which again, I'm like, why do you sell Cinderella Orange? Castle stuff here that too? That too, that but also Orange Bird stuff. And Orange again, Bird, I'm like, why yeah. Is Orange Bird here? Yeah, but I think don't can't you at DCA at uh, you can get your a name stitched on those too? Probably you would probably have to buy it there. Though. Yeah, yeah. Because they'd yeah. be like, oh, dude. yeah. Some more over here, Mickey on a train, Minnie in front of the castle, Goofy, oh, I'm sorry, Pluto. I did it again. Look, it's the happiest holiday on earth. You know what I mean? Like, I want to be friends with Pluto, or Goofy and Mickey and Donald and go get a tree. Let's be friends with them. We are already go get a tree. Are you Goofy or Pluto? He's I'm Donald. I was going to say, he's Donald. Yeah. Is he Donald? You're Goofy, I'm Pluto. <laughs> I'm goofy. I believe they're, they're from the reference from actual sketches. It doesn't look 
like Star Wars got like its own section like it did before. I don't feel, well, I guess this is the Star Wars section right here. It's part of a bigger... Yeah, I'm gonna guess on the other side is probably more yeah, bigger toy section. It also had its own big, huge section over there. So. This is the beginning of the end of the the, the the original section that was open, right? Yes. Also, uh, Ralph Merch shirts. Hey, look at that. We've got some new wreck -It Ralph merch. He's going to wreck this with his fist. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, this is a light touch. Uh, who are these guys? Is this, uh, this is Kitten? Do you remember that first jar? There was the, the bunny gets the uh, pancakes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Gets the milkshake. Yeah, yeah. That. Okay, that's what that is. There's uh, oh, dear. all the oh, all princesses, princesses and their pajama wear. The pajama princesses. Oh, the that's a lot. That's a lot. Uh, this is recycled from the first one. Uh, yeah. right. I'm sure. Uh, price. $125. So it is not like the other sets that are like 30. Like those, yeah. Which is probably 20. But I like these better. I'm not a Barbie guy. So which makes sense. This this Rick and Ralph is from the same from back in the day, I think. Hey, this guy's just taking it easy right here. He's totally chilling on that display. I'm gonna sit. Do you think, Ian, that he was really working hard at animating something, and then said, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm really tired from animating. Well, I mean, that is how they dressed in the 50s and 60s. That, yeah, and they were also super buff and, <laughs> and cool and looking. Guardians of the Galaxy was totally a hot property back yeah, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But no, I think it's interesting that they just dropped a, 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 a mannequin right here. By the way, that means we've now started to enter the Marvel chunk. It looks like it, yeah. Which is very busy. Look at the crowds here. Oh, no, that's just, that's just a cashier. Wow. So, so there are more... completely reorganized everything in here. This is not anything like what it was before. Wow. Maybe. Well, the hats are still here, or the ears. See collectibles, Ian. There's mugs, and there's well, there's home goods. So there is a like, yeah. It seems like they dropped any sort of fine art. Good though. Collectible section. Let, let that be a store on its own. I think. Well, I think the only place you'd probably get that now is just Disney on it. Disney on it. Yeah. There isn't really an equivalent of that in DCA. I don't think. I'm okay with I mean, that. It's a little bit. But... How much for the jars of ink? I believe that's the other thing that. Is But that's how Liz and I eat our spaghetti all the time. Oh, yeah. Well, that was magical. That was so magical. Uh, so, yeah, here's your, uh, that's your GC bus tours. bus tours. This is an old bus depot, right? And, uh, that they annexed as a studio before moving up to Berkeley. Yeah, that's, that, that's how. Disney Studios started, right? Walt right. Bus Studio and Kansas City. Window display. It is interesting that because the way they set up the cashier, they've lost two like window displays on each side. Yeah, they have. The registers are. So that's okay. So they only get to really, so they only get two actual displays they can yeah. use. Yeah. Which again, that's not actually a complaint. That's just an observation. Yep. It's not a. It's just noted. Here's more. I'm digging it, Ian. I'm digging it. Like I said, I, I said it's nice, but I find it dull. As, as a design, it's not interesting as a design. It's Do you nice. prefer the other one? I think there was more character to the other. Yeah. 
I was not a fan of the old the old uh, motif. But I, I do enjoy this. I think that they did a pretty good job. I mean, if, if you're into this thing. Yeah, it's, I figure the, the response is probably 50-50 on this. I think a lot of people are going to love it. A lot of people are going to be like, oh, whatever. It's too much like the Bramall. You know, that was, because like you do still get that Bramall feeling in there. Yeah, but that's the direction a lot of their stuff is. Yeah. yeah. So. Yep. Okay. By the way, if you're wondering what the Bramall is, uh, if you're not local, uh, Bramall is like a, it's kind of a semi-bougie, mall is it really in orange county yeah it's more bougie than any mall we go to well guys we've made our way over to dca to finish the show off here and on our way place a quick order over at the cocina cucamonga they've got a new menu there well newish to us well we we've We've had that menu once before. Have we been there since yeah. they changed the menu? Yes, yeah, you got a thing of chips and guacamole. Well, oh, that's all? I mean, we got also lunch as well, but... Oh, I don't remember that at all. Uh, well, we did, so... Well, that's where we're going to go have lunch today in this smoldering heat. It is super hot. It is not any less hot over here. Oh, nope. In fact, if anything, I would expect it to be hotter in here. It might be hotter. Because, because there's less shade in this park. And more concrete. Yep. Uh, so while we're wait while we're walking over there, hey, let's go through the the backside. While we're walking uh, to Cocina Cucamonga, I have not yet asked you guys to subscribe to our channel. So at this point, at this juncture in our pleasant walk to uh, the Pacific Wharf area, I would like to ask you to please subscribe to our channel. It's super easy. Uh, Ian and I were practicing earlier today. We, we got our phones out and we were looking at uh, you know, fun YouTube channels to subscribe to and we were clicking the button. Ian, it was, I couldn't believe how easy that was. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's the thing, I, I could swear I was subscribed to Star Wars Explained already. Yeah, I, I know. But I am now. Yeah. And that's so crazy. What? I practice too. Do you practice also? Always, yeah. Uh, well, if you if you have it, look, if you're trying to subscribe to another channel and you're having a difficult time doing that, you could subscribe to our channel as practice. Right? That works too. <laughs> it's just a little button. And then while you're at it, click twice, there's a notification button that sometimes works. It sometimes tells you when we have videos out. And we have not live streamed today, I just realized. We have not, no. I was really hoping to live stream today. Maybe we'll do that somewhere. Because that's one of the things you'll get notified of, is when we're suddenly live at the park. That's fun. That's true. That's super fun. I think yesterday, Mr. David Reynolds live streamed in Florida. He's been doing a lot of live streaming this week. Uh, David Reynolds over at Fresh Baked WDW. Uh, he does the same thing that we do, as it turns out, Ian. You can sure practice on his channel also. It's subscribe to Fresh Baked WDW. Uh, that's a fun thing to do. Our food is in there somewhere in this uh, restaurant. Where's the... Uh... Yeah, yeah, go for it. There's a mobile order pickup around here somewhere. Let's find it. There it is. Forty minutes later, we got some uh, tacos. Uh, these are the uh, what do they call these? The um, street tacos. Street tacos. One of them is pork, and one of them is whatever you got. Yeah, uh, that's the pork right there, right? No. That's the beef. That's pork. That's, that's pork beef. and that's beef. Yeah. I can't tell. And then Liz, you got the fish tacos. Yeah. It's a little cold, is it? Yeah. I'm sorry, honey. Is that orange on there? No, in my line didn't even juice. Oh. It just. Uh, and then we, <laughs> this is probably going to be a real bitter disappointment, I have a feeling. Uh, we also got some... Uh, agua fresca mango. Mango agua fresca. All right, right on. Well, when we're done here, I'm going to share a little story with you guys, because I don't want to do it while we eat. we got to get into this food. But I'm going to share a story with you about our adventures with mobile order today. They still haven't opened it yet, Ian. Oh, uh, wrapped it? Nope. Luxo. Do you think it'll just stay gone forever? That would be funny. Stay in that bag? <laughs> just like that sign's probably gonna stay like that forever? Well, while we were, uh... That sign was, that is interesting because the neon wouldn't look as good as the popcorn lights, but it does need some sort of lighting on it. Yeah. Okay, so what are we doing? Hello. We uh, we lost Liz. She's taking Junior, the ninja, 
to a quinceanera. No, quinceanera? Yeah. Quinceanera. I think that's how you say that. So she had to leave early because I couldn't leave early to do this because I have a show to put on here or to finish. But while we were having our lunch, which I'm still going to share that story with you, our lunch story. We'll get to it. We're going to get to it because it is a story worth telling, Ian. Well, I think. It's a story. It's a. <laughs> so you don't agree that it's worth telling? <laughs> Anyways, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Hey, this line is still super long. You know why this long is, line is so long, Ian? Uh, combination of it already being juicy, and that being shiny and new, and it being shiny hot. None of those are correct. Uh, they're all part of it. They may no. not be the answer you were thinking of, but they are all part of it. The answer that I'm thinking of is, they're delicious. They are really, really delicious. That doesn't make what I said untrue. <laughs> These things are... Uh, Everybody wants one. Hey, where's which one is the fast pass line? It's around the front. This is Zebra Rider, I think. I don't know what this is. Uh, I think that's we need to we need we need to look into this. Oh, that might be. Uh, oh, I think that is fast. Oh, no, no, that's a that's a Okay. Uh, that was that was scary for a moment. There. Yeah, we have a so, well. What about this one right here? That should that standby. Oh, standby is gonna be closer because they gotta wrap it. Fast pass should be so Alright, but I think that's fast pass. I don't think so, because then fast pass and standby would have to cross each other. Uh yeah. Uh, okay, so what were we just talking about? We got a fast pass for Incredicoaster. That we're gonna try to enjoy. We don't ride in Credit Coaster enough. No, we ride just about as much as we <laughs> Okay, let me get my fast pass out. Oh, there's a cartwheels over here. You're right, that is single or standby. I love this music, Ian. Available digitally October 26th at Blu-ray TV, November 6th. Is that right? The, the movie. Like, yeah, yeah. November 6th? Yeah. Not sponsored, but it could be. Just <laughs> well observed, Ian. Yes. Yes, it could be. Uh, you guys know my email address and how to get a hold of me. What do you think of this queue? I don't think it's really an improvement on what was here before. You don't think it's a, not even an improvement? Well, it's significant. It's notably less shaded, for one thing. Yeah.
<laughs> Sorry that got a little crazy. Babies can be pretty Yeah, mom. For babies. Now there's a rather unimpressive effect. The water? Yeah, the, the dash running thing. Like, they, they really sold that as something that was going to be really cool about this attraction when they were doing the, you oh. know, the pre-hype or whatever. Yeah. The Imagineers working on it and all that. But yeah. it, you can't see it from the, I don't even notice it from the ride. You have from to the be ride. on the left-hand side. And even then, you need to be in the front row of a car so there isn't an immediate wall right. in front of you. Yeah. There's too much wall. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's Roller coasters, especially fast ones, are not a good platform to try to go by such a plot-driven story. They work for environment, environment-driven yeah. stories like Thunder, Matt yeah. Lord, yeah. Everest, where there's a story happening unfolding in front of you, but it's driven by the physical world, not by an expeditional voice saying, this happened, now that happened, now you're doing yeah. this. Like, yeah. Because there's not the real estate. And to, they need to, to be purpose-built so for that, to rely too. on audio, which is such heavy right. exposition. Yeah. No, and that's why like Space Mountain and Big Thunder work though, because they were purpose built. It's an environment. It's, it's telling yeah. a story with the environment as opposed to yeah. explicit plot. Tell a story in the pre-show, maybe, you know, in the queue or something yeah. like that. But again, there is a story being told in the ride, but it's via the actual physical environment, right. not plot points. Yeah, yeah. But roller coasters aren't good for plot-driven story, generally speaking. I'm Especially, sure someone find an exception, but. As a rule of thumb, yeah. they're, they're not a good platform for that. I, I wonder, like, what they're thinking at places like Magic Mountain where they they have the the Joker ride and it's just green and purple. And, you know, like, do they... Does that work? When a place like that, you're, you're going mostly just for the coaster itself. That's true. And just so the, yeah. the theme is just white set dressing to get you yeah. in the mood. And that's all it is. Yeah, yeah. Just to get you in the mood, nothing else. Yeah. There's some guys. <laughs> I don't go on Batman the Ride thinking, oh wow, that was such a great Batman story. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I think that was a cool ro ro roller coaster with Batman elements in a queue. Yeah. That's about it. They, however, Six Flags is also significantly cheaper to go to, so what yeah. I ask of them is a lot lower. That's very true. And much closer to you, yet you still come down here, I wonder. Well, you know. <laughs> The, the construction walls look a little different for the yeah. Oh, they are different, huh? They're now made to look more like cardboard that's been drawn on. This thing has to that's, be done. that's great. That's great, Ian. Oh, look, it's Edna. Oh, yeah, she was just meeting over there, so she's just trying to the backstage. Got a, you know, she is now the exclusive designer of the Incredible Suits, so she's got to keep working. Available on Blu-ray November 6th. Not an ad, but it could be. Don't forget the special features that are available only on that Blu-ray with Edna babysitting Jack-Jack. Some, Jack -Jack. some of which are only available on movies anyway. Right. Again, not an ad, but it could be. Contact me at david at freshbakedbusy.com if you want to <laughs> buy this space. I am for sale. <laughs> uh.
Ohio, and we will always be your friends to infinity and beyond. Pixar Pier and it, it is that band is the that, Pixar Monocor. Uh, yeah, those guys are fan. I love that they show. Are, they are fun as hell. Uh, and you can tell they are having fun. And it's it's good every time. It's good every time and they have fun every time. The positioning of it in terms of the walkway is it's not good. No, not it just created a massive mess right here just now. People could stand closer and maybe, I don't know, maybe the band is tell people to stand Well, that's, yeah, that's, that cast members are telling them to stand that far back. Really? Yeah. Because when they first start forming before the show, they're out there telling you where to stand. Because that, because the the uh, what do they call the guy? The uh, well, both the saxophonist and the trombone. The players. sax, I think. Yeah, yeah. they come they come yeah, out they really far. Uh, yeah. But I don't, you know. Again, the physical staging of it is not great in regards to the walkway space. Yeah. The show itself is very good. The show is great. The show is great. You know what's not great, Ian? Forty-five minute wait for the wheel. The standby wait. <laughs> This is a queue right here, actually. These guys are in queue, I think. Yeah, are they? They pause for a moment so they're taking a picture, but otherwise, yes. Normally, when we get in this uh, queue to ride the Pixar Pal around, we start right around that little corner. That corner right there, yeah. That's usually the end of the line. Uh, today, it's that plus all this. Uh, you know what that means? That means no Marvel Land update today, Ian. No, but the only thing that would have been seen, and you'll get a little shot of it when we walk back. Oh, you bit, think? A little shot of it. I can see a little bit over the wall, just from walking. Really? Yeah. There's, okay, we'll look for that there's then. There's a bit of demo starting to happen to the Bugs Life Theater. Okay. So. All right. Oh, to the actual theater? Yeah. Well, that's something we can see from the ground maybe, yeah. yeah. Okay. 
We're not going to get to see what's happening here, though. I suspect not much, though. I mean, they look the same last when we wrote it last yeah. time. Either something has happened or just the beginning of foundation. The, 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 the most boring part is always that first initial part where they're just breaking ground and destroying stuff. Yeah. It doesn't seem like anything happens for a long time, and then all of a sudden you have a new parking structure. So now that we're in the next fiscal year, maybe this will start moving and they were waiting for that? Because it seems be. like a number of things were waiting for the fiscal year to, to yeah. over. Sure is brighter here. They put in more sun in this area. It's going to be interesting once it's done, because this ride is not really going to have a view when you're riding it going it's up true, and down huh? because the helix of the coaster. You're going to have a view of this. Yeah. It's not <laughs> you're going to get a view of Paradise Bay like you do on the Golden Zephyr or <laughs> right, right. Symphony's Wings. You're going to see... Or the rest of Bugs Land. Yeah. You're going to see the coaster helix, yeah, and yeah, that's yeah, it. That interesting. Yeah. You know what they could do is they could take all this down something else fun here. And put an actual proper Incredibles dark ride that they deserve? Bill, well, you know, what would an Incredibles dark ride look like? It'd be something action like Indy. You think? Yeah, it's, it's just, they're superheroes. A, 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 a motion-based ride like Indy makes it to me, or whether it's trackless or not, something like that makes more sense to me. For One that takes advantage of all their individual abilities yeah. too, right? Kind of like how they're trying to do here. But they don't have the sort of real estate to tell that kind of story. Yeah, yeah. We're doing the same thing that we did yesterday or last week. Let's do the same thing we did, but somewhere else. Let's go to Bugs Land. God, I haven't been to Bugs Land in so long. Wow. You know what? We should ride Heinlich and maybe do the uh, bumper cars. Well, I mean, I think... You I might even the, be able to tolerate Flix Flyers today. You can find the children's hospital where they ship the pieces of Heimlich too. You can go sit in it there. Is it literally at a children's hospital? Some of the, I think so. Well, I think a number of the props from Bugs Land are, are going to be or have been donated to a children's hospital. Really? One of the Heimlich ride vehicles... Like the and, fruit and all that? Probably. Yeah. I, know, I believe one of the Heimlich vehicles, or at least the front and tail, are going to go up to Emeryville, the Pixar headquarters, just okay. to have, just to have yeah, it on yeah. campus. Yeah. I don't know what's happening with all of the stuff. Uh, maybe those are some of the. I want to know where the candy corn goes. I don't know about that. But I wouldn't be surprised if the, the giant Christmas baubles go to Toy Story Land for their uh, decorations. Yeah. I would like the candy corn from Heimlich's. Looks like this show's about. Well, we're sure doing like the same another, thing. Another, in another 60 years, the next Fast from Disneyland collection finally gets put back together. <laughs> if you have several right? hundred thousand dollars, you'll yeah. be able to buy it then. So Ian, remember that one time when we were really hungry and we were trying to figure out what to eat and we said, hey, let's mobile order at Cocina Cucamonga. Let's go to Cocina Cucamonga and mobile order. We ordered it right here at the yeah. at the Blue well, Sky Cellar. When you say I'm here, prepare my order. That's the important. Part. Well, I mean, we we yeah, we hit the we hit the I'm here button from there, and then walked it to Cocina, and when we got there. There was, first of all, there was already a big old line of people waiting. Right, and food. somebody we talked to said they had been waiting for 30 minutes. Yeah, we're trying, oh, that's a good sign. Not good. Yeah. So we placed our order. Went and sat down for a while. Sat down, waited, watched the app, nothing Three happened. More. Nothing happened. He eventually said, you know what, let's just get in the line and check. Well, that's the thing. First of all, 22 minutes later, no, 28 minutes later, yeah. I went back to see where our food was, and there was a line about 40 people deep at the, 40 people at the mobile order pickup. Yeah. I've never seen that before in my life, uh, in the short time that they've been doing mobile order. Yeah. So when I finally got there, they still hadn't paged me that my food was ready, but the food was ready. Except that Liz's, Liz's fish taco was cold. Yeah, so here's what happened. Yeah, the, uh, so, uh, I guess the app. I don't know whether it was a human or someone not triggering the location or yeah. something with the app or server was on this computer side. But whatever happened, for whatever reason, the notification that it was supposed to say, hey, your food's ready, can you grab it? Yeah. Go out. So we ended up waiting longer than we should have. Yep. Unfortunately, and I really did some busy days, so they were probably slammed, whether it's, yeah. whether it's the people or the, or the computer. When it's busy is when that needs to not happen the most. Yep. But that's when people's patience is the thinnest. That's when it's most critical that that doesn't happen. So on the one hand, I, I feel like 
it was a busy day. Yeah. So I. So there should have been an expectation that it would take longer, and I'm also thinking, the honeymoon's kind of over. I'm um, over order a little bit. In terms of it being like the, oh my God, this is amazing type Here's the, app. When it's not nuts, a nuts day, it still, it works fine. Yeah. But there's a certain threshold where once it's so busy, there's enough people using yeah. it that it starts to back up too. It starts to back up as much as the regular queue. Yep. So. But I would say that there, like how do you know when it's, when, when do you decide, okay, now I, I need to go look at the window. And that's the weird thing about it is that I said, okay, it's been too long. There's no food anywhere should take 40 minutes. As a matter of fact, I had the thought that if we had just gotten in the regular line, we would have had our food sooner than we did with mobile order, which is weird. Uh, but like, how long do you sit there and say, you know what I mean, like yeah. 10, 15, 20 minutes? Not great. Uh, but anyway, but here's the, the good news is, food was hot, mostly. Yeah, except for Liz's fish Liz's fish tacos were a little cold. But our tacos were good. The tacos were great, yeah. I thought. I love the tacos. The what we get it was the, the uh, fresco mango was. Oh my god, dude, that drink was fantastic. I drank yeah. both mine and Liz's. Okay, uh, all the fresco is generally great. So you know, it's, it's water and mashed fruit. Yes. Yeah, well, like, I love water and mashed fruit. Yeah. yeah. It's, <laughs> and mango especially is. Good. Yeah. Uh, no, the tacos were great. The rice was great. The, the even the chips and salsa were great. It was hot. Hotter than I oh, thought yeah. it was gonna be. I, I dug it. I was like, yeah, yeah. something spicy in the theme park. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, There's only a handful of things you can find in parks that are actually spicy. We have no idea, though, how good the uh, fish tacos were because no, the, <laughs> we the couldn't eat cold, them. So yep. Liz had her fish tacos fishless. Yep. Liz, he just said, he was about to say, uh, Liz said that they, they they did look delicious. Yeah, the fish looked like it They was looked well like they were prepared well. Yeah. But they were just, I, they were cold to the touch. Yeah. And it took us over here while we were talking about our uh, our good news, bad news. Our food adventure. Our, food, our good news, bad news food adventure at Cocina. Uh, a lot of discussion about Marvel Land. And, uh, oh, it's actually going to be finished? Yeah, like... Well, well, okay, so right now they're, they're talking about phase one, phase two sort of situation. And, you know, initially when, when all this Marvel Land stuff was happening, or, you know, the initial uh, discussions, people were talking about where's it going to be. Um, you thought behind tower or back lot? Right, the, the, the back backstage lot. areas or the back lot where we are now. Plus, plus what they would have gained from moving the transportation area to the new Right, gateway. this was supposed, yeah, the, the, the eastern gateway was supposed to relieve this space that's on the other side of this wall right here, which is the, the current uh, transportation hub, you know, where the, the drop off and pickups are for buses and things yep. like that. Uh, I've got it on some level of authority that the, the plan is it is phase two is going to be the back lot and that they are going to i don't know to what degree if it's again if it's a demo or if it's uh again, for the most part these buildings are fairly warehousey yeah so the building themselves are pretty easily reusable. which was like the point you were making with with the yeah. bugs life theater and i think re either recently or either happened or firm was filed to finally remove the frozen set from stage 17. So. Oh, is that still there? It has been for Stage 17 being yeah. right here, yeah, where they used to do been, the... It uh... has been up until either just recently or a permit was filed recently to have it removed. Oh, okay. I did, oh, that's right, because we kind of snuck in there that one time. Yeah, e even when they did the uh, Disney Channel thing with DuckTales and all that. All yeah, that stuff was it was still, still frozen that, that was just earlier this year. That was a fun thing. That frozen, that winter thing that they did oh, in there. Oh, snow... Snowfest, snow yeah. yeah. That was fun. That was neat. Um, yeah, so, because they're... Because they've got... You got to know that there is a phase two, and it's got to go somewhere, uh, because they're, they're you know the phase one currently has no new e-ticket. They're building only something C-tickety, I guess, yeah. for a Bugs Life Theater, right? Yeah. Um, it's not unclear if that's an actual ride or more of a show type. Thing. Right, right. We don't even know that, but it's it certainly an, isn't an e-ticket. An e attraction using that space. Right. So something that they can pump out quicker, so they have so they have something if not on opening day right. closer to opening. Right. And you can't start a new land, a new Marvel-themed land. You can't introduce this without get and, and then leave Mission Breakout as your only e-ticket. I mean, they, they could very well try. <laughs> well, that won't work. I'm sorry, but I don't think the people will be very Pixar happy with Pier that. Technically, was not any new rides, technically. What's that? Technically, Pixar Pier was not any new rides. No, but uh, that's not really on the level of land. 
as Marvel or Star Wars My are. My point being, it wouldn't be past them to try. That's it true. would not be past, would past them to say, hey, look, meet and greet, shopping, dining, new land, come check it out. Yeah. It's, it's just as good. Well, they're going to do that. When they when they announce phase one is open or whatever, or they started hyping it, they're, they, yeah, It'll, for sure, they're going to sell it and they're going to pitch it as a new land. Yeah. 100%. Even though it's maybe one new ride and a restaurant. Oh, yeah, I'm sure they'll be, again, shopping, dining, yeah. meat. Groups. Right, right. Uh, but yeah, so uh, it is looking, and again, that, that begs the question, or I shouldn't say begs the question, that reminds us why they haven't done anything and why they weren't, because we've been asking for them to demo this thing for well, so long. It seems like, it seems like the, the impression I've gotten, that I want to make it sound like I know something right. or that I think for sure something's happening. The impression yeah. I've gotten is that in order to do something with the back lot, they want that transportation area space. Yeah. Because that gives them a better piece of land to actually use. Well, sure, they, they can be a little less, more creative. Less dependent on having an Eastern Gateway. And there's still hope for that. There's still hope for the Eastern Gateway. Uh, November elections are coming. And uh, there's going to be, there is going to be a new regime one way or the other. Whether that's more for Disney or more against Disney remains. We don't know, which brings to mind the conversation, which is something I'm going to talk about later on this week on Fresh Break Presents, the issue with the Anaheim Stadium. Um, they have opted out of their lease, yeah, which has got people's creativity, you know, talking. I don't I, think it's going to go think, anywhere. I think, I think the ship for a third gate sailed for at least for the I, at, least, I agree. at least for the next decade. I agree. Big picture. They come back into port at some yeah, point, yeah. but for at least for the next decade, that ship has sailed. Cause they've said Star Wars is Disneyland. Yep. Most DCA. Those I would say been, that is true. I would say they couldn't do other things in a third park. I would hope they would do other things than that. someday. But those would have been the big brand anchors to say, here's why this is worth your time. Yeah. Uh, Disney's focus on expansion right now is overseas. Yeah. Um, and to be fair, Hong Kong needs stuff. Paris yeah. needs stuff. Now that they have control yeah. of it. Shanghai is a new park, and, and any new park is starts underbuilt and needs more things. Yep. So that, but like I said, uh, all that long-term stuff, phase three, perhaps, of Marvel. I don't know, because it seems like you kind of want to have the Eastern Gateway situation resolved before you start phase two, I think. Again, if, if the plan is for the back lot, then yes. If the plan is for just more behind tower, then they can move ahead with that. Towers, there's not enough room behind tower for a... If for that, a whole, that whole lot back there, again, if you sh if you shimmy around like the one like parade warehouse and right. warehouse for the, uh, the trolley, the trolley there's yeah. no space there. You think? Uh, okay, so... <sighs> nothing's happening with 17. Nothing's happening. What is the hell I, is the I, name I, of that I, building? It has a stage what number. What stage number is that? Called, but it has one. This, right um, now, it's the it has the up wall, the little Buzz Lightyear wall. Oh, the new the new yeah. uh, Instagram pic wall. Yeah. With the yeah with the up balloons. This is Thank you. yeah. So the, it it does answer the question why they seemingly are refusing to put any money into the back lot or make any sort of decisions because they've got to wait. Everything's got to fall in line. All the little pieces got to fall in line. The Eastern Gateway designs because they had to kind of go back to the drawing board with it's not, again. It's not like the designs that. Imagining the presented Team Disney and I were artistically impressive. Right, really, very creative. But very, very low capacity. <laughs> yeah. And, and D Disney and I said, start all I over. said uh, cool story, bro. We can't keep going with low <laughs> capacity rides. Go back and either revise this to bring capacity up or give me something else. We can't keep building yeah. these low capacity rides. One, maybe, we but not need, two. We need something that even not a small order pirate level people eater can be yeah. able to get some people. Give me 2,000. Give me like, two thousand. And well, the thing is, part of getting people through quickly, you also need to means you need a longer ride. Because getting through people quickly doesn't mean anything. It's a short ride. Send the right back on the walk. That's so true. Yeah. A highly, a, if you can get a lot of people through, then it also needs to be a longer ride. So Which is them. why they build those queues so big now too, so that you have experience happening while they're waiting yeah. two hours. You know, they have an because experience a ride happening. That pumps people through, but it's thirty seconds long. And does no one any good in terms of capacity? Here, because everyone's walk. right back on the street again. Uh, it's it's kind of like. Like with uh, Flights of Passage at, at Pandora. It has, it's a slow loader, but it, in total overall has decent capacity. Right, but what I mean to say though is that they've built that knowing that, knowing that it's it's going to have a lot of people in it and you want to, like you said, you can't have it, a, uh, how long is that attraction? How long is the ride? The actual show, it's, it feels, when you're on it, it feels very long. I tell you, well. Three or four minutes maybe? Yeah, which again, in terms of act compared to what they used to do back in the day, yeah. is short. Okay, right, no, that's true. But uh, for, yeah, it's no for, pirates for, for, or, a, but for a simulator type ride, that's fairly long. Uh, like you said, you're you're in and out of the attraction so fast that it kind of defeats. You're almost not getting anywhere. 
Yeah. But when you build an attraction like Flights of Passage that is going to, you know, have two hour waits or X number of people in the queue, you build a very cool queue, a big queue to keep them in there. That, that's now show. You've, yeah. you've created a two hour show almost. And you're at least, you're at least keeping people out of walkways. Right. And you're out of the walkways. And that's why when we first talked about Galaxy's Edge, we're like, I cannot believe they built this. How many acres is it? They said 14. 14, 14 acre I still land think with... it should have a third ride. Well, again, it may still. Again, may for the still. sake of absorbing people out of walkways. But that we were like, I cannot believe they built this 14 acre land, which is two attractions. But that's because those buildings are gonna, the buildings themselves are gonna hold so many things. I hope. I mean, again, going, I, I hope so. I hope so. I hope, right. I hope so. And inside those attractions, it's not just gonna be a queue. It's gonna be a queue. It's gonna be a Star Wars queue. You know, it's gonna be the Millennium Falcon or you know a First Order, uh, whatever. Like what are we, Imperial, whatever. I don't know. Happy birthday, David. Thank you very much. Uh, very specific. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. What I mean to say is, um, like, a, like a Star Destroyer or something yeah. like that, right? Maybe. Well, hopefully. Are we on the ground? Hello. Hi, guys. From the look of the queue and the stuff they have told us, it seems like you're gonna go towards in space. You'll get on that transport thing, yeah. Which you'll do a sort of, oh, look, we're flying up to space. A sort of not actually stretching room, but that, uh, kind, of, yeah, yeah. that kind of pre-show room where you're in a room, something's happening. Now you exit. Which I think else. is gonna be the collider area, right? Is that? Do you think I don't that know could if that's be it? Any more because it looks like you're, you'll, because just by the size and shape of what that ship is. It was kind of small. Yeah. Yeah. My point is, yeah, so that, if I had a guess, again, I don't know anything. I don't have right, right, no, insiders. No. This is this is pure. Are you? Are you doing wild speculation? No. Ah, no I think it's you're not, doing. It's not wild speculation. <laughs> For just... one thing, it's not even in wild space. I'm messing it's with you. <laughs> but, but it's what makes no sense to me again from the art they presented. Yeah. From what would be an interesting story. Uh huh. You get in the transport, gets captured by the Star Destroyer, you put on transports, you know, the, the actual ride vehicles, yep. and then you're off on your adventure. As yep. far as what happens on the ride, no clue. Just I'm talking about the actual framing of the story itself. Yeah, yeah. All right. St. George Lucas. Look at Spider-Man. That might be one of the best meets they do in the entire park. It is a very good meet. Spider-Man meets are where it is at. I've loved every one we've ever done. Because Spider-Man's the best. Spider-Man is the best. And Fresh Baked, so are you. And I'm looking at you, Fresh Baked. You are the best. We love you guys so very much. Uh, I cannot believe how lucky we are to have so many of you picking up what we're putting down and enjoying our show. Uh, so thank you for watching. Our show is wrapped this week from wonderful downtown Hollywood. By way of Buena Vista Street. On Buena <laughs> No, we're on Hollywood Boulevard That's now. I said by way oh, by way of Wayne of the Street, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. As always, please do remember to like this video, share it with your friends, share all our videos with your friends, because you know, that's one good way, a free way, to support Fresh Baked is by sharing your videos with your friends. Did you know, Ian, that Google gives YouTube channels really big warm hugs when people share your videos. They love it. They love that. And by warm hugs, we mean it's more likely to show up in recommendations. That's correct. That's correct. You show up on the front page of Google stuff. And when you look for Disneyland videos, it says, hey, check out Fresh Bake. They're sweet. Super sweet. Uh, so, <laughs> and subscribe to our channel. Subscribe to Fresh Bake Presents. That is a channel where we do news and opinion. Uh, and I commit egregious errors of wild speculation because I love to do that kind of thing. He likes his, his theme park conspiracy theories. I do love my theme park conspiracy theories. I want to be on the leading edge of wild speculation and wild space, as you said. But not quite on the total, wait, what is it? Would you say that? But not into the unknown regions. Though. Unknown regions, no, I don't want to go there. Uh, hey, hi guys, hello. Uh, follow us on Twitter, First Break Disney, that's Fresh With No E, where Damien Rosby is our host. He is uh, a friend who loves DCA. Oddly, he was one of the two people that we thought of that loves DCA. Him and Ethan. Him and Ethan. Uh, and that's that. <laughs> that's it. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, Instagram underscore Fresh Baked. We have a Facebook page, Fresh Baked Disney. We have a website, FreshBakedDisney.com. Uh, the, the pens are back up for sale. We have a limited supply left. We're probably at about 70 now. It's at the time of recording, I should At the time of recording, yes, there were, there were 70 left, I believe. Hopefully by now you guys have purchased them all, and then I'll try to go make some more, I guess, if I need to. Um, and then also, by this time next week, 
by the time you're watching this, actually, I will have hopefully, uh, well, I mean, I am officially married. But, but you'll be having your reception. I will have finally had the wedding reception. Yes. I know, right? Which uh, means show's going to be happening during the week, so... No Saturday. Which means you won't see me next week. That's right, no Ian next week. They film, they'll be filming midweek. We'll be filming so, midweek to... We're going to bring you a show. So when you see me not in the video, don't say what's happened. Does Ian hate David and Liz now? No. <laughs> oh, we're going to show up on TMZ. What's the beef between Ian and David? <laughs> did, did Ian kick Liz? <laughs> What's the beef? <laughs> no, uh, Ian and I, well, we made up from before. We were great friends earlier this morning. And then it went down And a then bit. it went sour, but now we're great friends again. We're back. We're back. Uh, <laughs> and so shall we be fresh baked tomorrow, actually, as it turns out, because we put up videos every day. So try not to stress out or anything like that if you, if you feel like you're not getting enough fresh baked, because I will give you more than enough. Actually, you're probably going to get sick of us. I'm really, I apologize for... Uh, <laughs> putting out too many videos. I can't help it, guys. I can't help it. Um, but we'll see you guys uh, next week. Fresh baking stuff. Love you guys. Bye.